Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna show you five of the easiest things to cook in your Instant Pots. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Kendra. And we are two of the sisters from Six Sisters Stuff. So today we're gonna show you five of the easiest things to cook in your Instant yes. Pot because, I mean, people are getting yes. Instant Pots for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm even a beginner myself. I'm so, so proud. <laughs> I'm here with the master herself, and she's gonna teach me how to do this. We're learning the basics. So if you just got an Instant Pot, you're gonna wanna watch this video. All right, should we get started? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, first recipe, we are making Instant Pot rice. And at first I was a little bit skeptical of this. Before I add this, I'll tell you why, <laughs> because <laughs> I was like, I'm all about the Easy Minute Microwave Rice. And then I tried the Instant Pot Rice and my life was changed. And now we have rice about every other night because it's so easy, so fast, and it's way better than any microwave rice, so. Amen. Amen. Okay. okay, so we have a cup of rice and then one and one fourth cup of water. And I'll give it a little stir. Nice. Now I get a lot of comments that lots of people like to rinse their rice beforehand. Yes. It doesn't matter if you rinse it or if you don't, it will still work wonderfully either way. So, okay. Okay. That's it. Good to go. I'll let you push the buttons because okay. I still get scared. I can push the buttons. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the lid on. And we're gonna turn the knob to ceiling. Ceiling. Ceiling, not venting. <laughs> no. Okay, then you're gonna push, depends on your Instant Pot, you're gonna push the manual button or the pressure cook button. And then because this is white rice, it only cooks for seven minutes. So we set the timer for seven minutes, then you're gonna wait a few seconds and it's gonna beep, and then it's gonna say, wait for it, on. If it says on, that means you did everything right, so you can just walk away. So, we're gonna let this cook here, then we're gonna go over here and show you how to cook Instant Pot eggs. Now I love making hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. It's one of my most mm -hmm. favorite things to cook. So, okay. You are So, up. this is just easy too. I know. It's <laughs> eggs in water. It doesn't get any easier. <laughs> so we have three eggs and then, what did you say about, about a, a, a cup, cup of water? Of water. Mm -hmm. So now we're just using three eggs, but you can do up to like 18 yeah. eggs with just a cup of water and you'll still cook it for the same amount of time. Yes. Okay, so, I'm gonna put your lid on, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, I'm nervous. You got this. Ah. Is it on? No, not yet. Oh, there we go. So make sure it's all the okay. way over here. Oh, it's <laughs> seeing it here. There you go. Okay, oh, now okay. turn it off. I did. Now tur uh, okay. turn it so it's on. Oh, all right, there you go. On. Good. So you turned it so it's on, okay. and then first you check your knob. Knob. So it's knob a ceiling. Is be ceiling. Not venting. Very good. And then we're gonna go to the buttons. So okay. this one has a pressure cook button, so that's the one you're gonna push. Pressure cook. Good. And then we wanna go to five minutes. So I okay. love to do the five, five, five method, and I'll show you what we're gonna do there. Okay. So go down, so push the negative button. Does that make sense? Yes. And we're going down to five minutes. Okay. Five so you can minutes. push it lots of times, or you can even hold it, oh. and it will. No, <laughs> I didn't know that until I <laughs> Good, Kate. Okay. So you set it? Set it. Good, now we're gonna just wait a few seconds and, and it's wait. gonna stay on, mm -hmm. and then we're done. You're right, let's see. There we go, Boom. on. Thanks. So, rice is done. Yes. So, um, the L appeared, so that means it's been done for about 13 minutes. We got busy, we got yeah. chatting. <laughs> so we're gonna turn it to venting, and there's no steam left, so we're good to go. We can just open it up. Oh my, can you see this? Perfectly perfect. Perfect. rice. Okay, so this rice is perfect. I love it because mm. it's like the yummy sticky rice that yeah. your mom used to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The good stuff. The good stuff. And it turns out so perfect. It's not too hard, there's no yeah. hard chunks, and then it's not too soggy like some of the rice that yes. you can make in your rice cooker. Now, so, how much more rice can you make? Because we just did a cup. But we like, did a cup. You can do all the way up to, I would say about ooh, six to eight cups is your limit. Okay. Um, because you don't want it to get too full. You want to watch out for the max line on your pot. So, okay. 
but whatever you do, the cooking time will be the same. So even if it's six cups of rice, it's still gonna be seven minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay, moving on to recipe our eggs. Two. Okay, so now that our eggs are at five minutes, so we cooked them for five minutes, we let them do a natural release for five minutes, meaning we just kind of let it sit there and let the timer go up for five minutes. And now we're going to vent the rest of it. Oh, it's good to go. And we'll pull the lid off. So the other five, so we're gonna take these eggs and put them in an ice bath for five minutes. Okay, ready? Five, five, five. Okay. This is so nice. And you put them in the ice bath because it will make them just peel so easily. I'm excited. All right, wait for five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Yep. And now we're just gonna pull them right out. You wanna crack that one? You'll show them how sure. easy it is to crack. I roll mine. Do, do you? you? Roll, do you ever roll yours? I never thought of rolling. I just like tap, tap, and I'm good. Check awesome. those out. I know, it, just, it literally just peels right off, huh? Okay. You good? So just to show you the inside. Perfection. Perfect. I love it. Awesome. Oh, eggs are literally one of my most favorite yes. things. I'm gonna do this for Easter eggs. Yes. Or I just, I like to do a dozen, like, uh -huh. and just eat them throughout the week. Yeah, so. I know, perfect healthy snack. Yes. All right, done with recipe number two. Okay. Now let's head over to recipe number three. Recipe number three, we're gonna do some oatmeal really quick. So all it is, is we're just adding one cup of oatmeal and then two cups of water. And you're gonna wanna stir this all around. How much could you do of oatmeal? Same you thing, could like fill it to the top. Five, okay. Yep. yep, so about, I don't know, five cups, six cups of oatmeal. Okay. Okay, so you just wanna make sure all the, the oatmeal is covered in water. Nice. And then put your lid on. Okay, here we go. To sealing. Not venting. Not venting. And then you are going to do manual. Yeah. And then you'll take it down to four. Four minutes. Nice. Now also if you cook a lot of oatmeal, you'll still only cook it for four minutes. So whether it's five cups or one cup. Four minutes for oatmeal. Yes. And we're going. All right, so once you see the on, you're good to go. Okay, recipe number four, we're showing you how to make pasta in the Instant Pot. Now, pasta is one of the easiest dishes to make because lots of times you can make something on the stovetop and you can just throw your pasta in the Instant Pot and just not even think about it. You're, yeah. It's cooking while you're cooking the other food. So that's why I love cooking pasta. So we're gonna do a pound of pasta, and it can be any kind of pasta. I mean, we're talking from macaroni to ooh, spaghetti noodles. To spaghetti, to anything. Pasta will cook for the same. So you're gonna do a pound of pasta to four cups of water. Okay. Now sometimes you might need a little bit more water. You just wanna make sure that all of your pasta is covered by water. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. There we go. Then you're just gonna spread it around a little bit, make sure all the pasta is really covered. Okay, looking good. And you're gonna put your lid on. You're gonna make sure your little knob turned to ceiling, not venting. You're gonna push the pressure cook button. Then you're gonna go down to just four minutes or up to four minutes if you're down there. Okay, it's gonna cook for four minutes. So after you set the timer, you're just gonna wait a little bit Wait for the on sign, waiting. <laughs> yeah. All right, once it says on, you're good, and you can just walk away. Okay, so back to our oatmeal recipe number three. Uh, we've let this sit for about 12 minutes, so we switched it to venting, but it already did its thing. So okay. now, we're gonna take it out. Ooh. Okay. And you have the most fluffy, delicious oatmeal. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoop this into the bowl and you can add cinnamon and sugar at this point or brown sugar, or I like to top mine off with some berries. Mm -hmm. I like berries. I also like maple syrup. I don't know if that's a thing. Yes, no, it's definitely <laughs> I like a thing. To eat it with maple syrup. That is yummy. Nice. I mean, my kids 
also like to put chocolate chips on their oatmeal. Ooh, yes. I know, it's pretty good. That also, if you want a yummy Instant Pot oatmeal recipe, down below in the description, we make some pumpkin oatmeal, mm. and it is amazing. Perfect for fall. Yes. But I'd probably eat it all year long. <laughs> I love my pumpkin. Okay, so there is your oatmeal. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, we're all the way done. So we're gonna push this little knob to venting and get out all of the pressure. Ooh. All right, so once all of the pressure's out, you can open the lid. Oh, you can see all those little bubbles. And the noodles are perfect. So you wanna stir them around just a little bit. And you can use them on anything. I love to put like sauce on them. You can do spaghetti sauce. You can do like a white creamy mm -hmm. sauce. I mean, you can do everything with noodles, but this is just a simple, easy way to cook the pasta. All right. Number five, the last thing we're going to show you that is super simple to cook in your Instant Pot is to make chicken broth. Now I've had so many people ask, how do I make chicken broth? Why do you just throw your rotisserie chicken away? So I thought I'd show you just how easy it is to make it, especially if you already are using a rotisserie chicken yes. or if you have you know, just other chicken parts sitting around. So, yeah. are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, first we're gonna put the chicken. This is a rotisserie chicken that we bought and we're just throwing it in the bottom of the Instant Pot. It's cute. So why do you need to take the chicken off? Just so it's, there's not... You don't have to, so lots of times you use the chicken for your meals okay. and then instead and then of just he's... throwing the bones away, you can put them in your Instant yeah. Pot. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Okay. So we have one chopped onion that we just did big chops because it doesn't matter. We're just using this for seasoning. So onion, and then we chopped up two celery and then about two carrots, right? Yes. We didn't even have to peel the carrots because we're not eating it, we're just making the broth. Yes. Now you can add garlic or anything else you want, but I this is how I like my chicken broth. So, so now we're gonna add eight cups of water to make the chicken broth. So. Okay. You ready? There's four cups ready. there, and then I have four cups too. Oh dear, we're losing it. That's all right. And so that is all you do. That's all you mm -hmm. need. So we're just gonna take the lid and put it on. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Two. Sealing. Sealing, good. Not venting. Yep, then what are you gonna push here? Manual. Very good, push the manual button. And then we're gonna cook it for 60 minutes. So okay. You can hold the plus button until it goes all the way up to 60. Now I love that, I mean, you just, you literally take your scraps and all of a sudden you don't oh. have to buy chicken broth because you're good to go. Okay, so once we have, once we're at 60 minutes, we're just gonna let it sit there for a little bit until it beeps at us on. As soon as it says on, you get to walk we're away. We're good to go. All right, okay, we'll just wait and we're excited to show you what it looks like. So. We let this release on its own for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes until it yes. was done. And then we can open the lid as Kay. soon as all the pressure's out. So we're gonna open it up. Oh my goodness, can you see that? Ooh, that smells, smells so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're gonna ladle it out. Okay, oh, turn so, it get... so right now we're just gonna ladle it out for you, but usually I would take like a strainer and strain out all of all the, the broth. Chunks. And yeah, you don't want the chunks in your chicken broth. Hey. Oh, it looks so good though. Now I'm craving chicken noodle soup. <laughs> this this chicken broth is actually super yummy in mm -hmm. our chicken noodle soup recipe, which mm -hmm. we'll put a link below in the description for you. Yes. So if you want more Instant Pot recipes, of course, don't forget to subscribe and push that little bell so you won't miss any of our videos. If you are brand new at the Instant Pot, we'd love to hear what you have cooked in your Instant Pot and how long it took you to open your Instant Pot. Put that down below in the comments. All right, guys, we hope you have a wonderful week. We will see you next time. See ya. Bye.